Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates. Today I've got my crock pot out again because I want to make a delicious sandwich. Now I'm going to take a chuck roast and I am going to add some delicious flavorings and ingredients to make Italian beef sandwiches from the crock pot. Okay, if you're ready, well, let's get started. Okay, so here's all the ingredients that we're going to need to make our Italian beef sandwiches. Now, this is everything that's going to go into the crock pot. I have a chuck roast here, and what we're going to do is we're going to sear that off, and I'll show you that here in just a minute. We've got some salt, some pepper, Worcestershire, Italian seasonings, roasted red bell peppers, some pepperoncinis, Coke, Coke, yes, nice flavor. Soy sauce, got an onion. Then we've got some vegetable oil here. And better than bouillon beef flavor. Or you can use like canned beef broth or boxed beef broth. First step, what we're going to do is we're going to sear the meat off first. Now this is an optional step. I grew up with searing all my meats before I put them into a crock pot. So what you need is just a large skillet or you can use a cast iron skillet. We're going to put it on a medium high heat. Okay now it's very important that you use a vegetable oil. Don't be putting in olive oil. We need a good high smoke point for the oil so that it'll give a nice sear to the meat. So what I like to do before I put it in to sear is just get a nice healthy amount of salt and sprinkle it across the top part of the meat here. This is the side that I'm going to put upside down into the pan and then what we'll do is season the back side of it. We want it nice and hot you guys because you want to get that nice sear on the, on the meat all the way around. So I'm going to take my meat here place it upside down, the salt and pepper side down, so we can season that other side. Put some oil in there. Now what we're going to do is let this sit for about four to five minutes on one side, flip it over another four to five minutes, and then we'll do the sides, and then that is done. now and place this in the crock pot. Okay, so what I have is two cups of beef broth. Now I made this with some better than bouillon. If you have that, that would be great. What I did was I just added another teaspoon because I want to give this a really good beefy flavor. Now you can use like beef bouillon if you want also. You can use like boxed beef broth and just put two cups of that in there and then add a little bouillon to it. We're looking just for a richer taste. So what I'm gonna do is add a quarter cup of Worcestershire. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it into my bowl here. And then I'm gonna add a quarter cup of some soy sauce. It's gonna be so delicious. Mm. Just cooking that meat this morning, just searing it off was so delicious. Oh. All right, we got that. Now I've got Coca Cola. <laughs> I'm gonna add about one cup of this. Yeah, right there. Okay, now I've got some Italian seasoning here. Now, Italian seasoning, it is marjoram, rosemary, thyme, savory, sage, oregano, and basil. So if you don't have the mix here, you can mix your own and then put that in there. I'm gonna put about two teaspoons in. We're just gonna mix it all in here. And then we're just gonna dump it 
in here and go. <laughs> I just want to combine everything in this bowl right here so we get a good mix on everything. Okay, so the next thing what we're going to do now is I have one onion that I've diced up. Now, if you don't want to do this, you can use minced onion or you can just add in some onion flavor to this, like onion salt or onion powder. Okay, so I have some pepperoncinis that I'm going to put in. Now, pepperoncinis is going to add some warmth to your dish here so be very careful how many you put in so I'm these are sliced so what I'm gonna do is just kind of place these around the roast probably about, about 10 of them in here it's gonna add some delicious flavor okay now I have some roasted red bell peppers. Now there's no heat in here, but it's a delicious flavor for your Italian beef sandwiches. So these are already chopped up. So I'm just gonna put these in there like that. Now if sometimes you'll get a jar and there'll be like the full bell pepper in there. So you can just chop those up. So let's add these. It's gonna add a nice color and flavor. Now you can generally find these, the red bell peppers and the pepperoncinis over in the pickle section of your store. And generally I find these on the top shelf. It's funny. That's where they put them. Okay, that's looking good in there. Just gotta remember we had a big roast in there. This is about um, a three pound roast. So it'll definitely make four sandwiches for us and plus it will give us leftovers okay there we go now what we're going to do is add that delicious broth that we just made with the soy sauce coke the worcestershire and these italian seasonings and that beef broth so in we go i'm going to pour it all over all right that's going to sit in there just like that what we're going to do now is place the lid on we're going to cook this on low for eight to 10 hours, or you can cook this on high for four to six hours. And you want your roast to be super tender and where it will easily shred between two forks. Okay, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna turn this into delicious Italian beef sandwiches. Okay, my roast is so tender, you guys. It is just falling apart. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my oven on and I am gonna place some hoagie buns into there and toast those up. And that'll really help absorb some of this liquid as we're putting our Italian beef sandwiches together. So let's go ahead and start shredding this up. I'm going to put this back into the gravy that's in the crock pot and just let it absorb in there for about 30 minutes while our oven is preheating and the buns are toasting. Okay, so I've got my oven preheating at 400 degrees and what I've got are these hoagie buns here and I'm just going to lightly butter them so they get nice and golden in the oven. Now if you want to skip this step, you can certainly do that. All right, I'm going to finish these up. I'm going to pop these in the oven. All right, as you can see, I've got my nice toasted buns out of the oven. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some mayonnaise to it. This is a sandwich. <laughs> oh, you hear how crunchy that is? Perfect. I've got my Italian beef right here that I've pulled out of my crock pot that cooked with those peppers, the red peppers and those pepperoncinis and that delicious sauce that we made for it. So let's go ahead and put that right on our sandwich. Now, if you want to add some extra red peppers on there, 
and some pepperoncinis. I've got some cheese. Now this is a provolone cheese. Go really good with this Italian sandwich here. Okay guys, what do you think? Let's dive in. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is delicious. Mm. Okay, what are you waiting for? Go get your roast, some simple ingredients, and put this one together. You're going to be happy. Okay, if you enjoyed my crock pot Italian beef sandwich recipe today, don't forget my thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. Okay, I will see you on my next episode.